Well, now to another city leader in question, this time in Volusia County. The mayor of DeBerry has been under fire for months. And it could all come down to tonight's vote. Mayor Clint Johnson is being accused of violating the city's charter. But Johnson says the reasons they're coming after him aren't that simple. News 6 reporter Lauren Korn joins us now from Volusia County, where city council members are just starting a special meeting to decide the mayor's fate. The meeting just got started. Two things are happening tonight. The council will decide if Mayor Clint Johnson violated city charter and if he should be removed from office. Now, these meetings are usually held at City Hall, but tonight they're here at Town Hall because a big crowd is here tonight. Controversy. I don't think you realize that some of the things he got involved with. Name calling. Something you shouldn't say here or something, you know, and that, and then somebody gets insulted. And lawsuits. It's just unfortunate it's like a little war that got out of hand. Has now boiled down to tonight's city council meeting to find out if Mayor Clint Johnson is sticking around. We need to put it to rest one way or another. Here are some of the issues that could play a part in tonight's decision. The mayor's mailbox, it sounded like a good idea. But turned into a public records lawsuit claiming the mayor didn't turn over all the information requested. Name calling during meetings. Councilman Rick Dwyer, who's asking to bury Mayor Clinton Johnson to apologize for calling citizens the peanut gallery and trolls. The controversy over the 102 acres of conservation land at Gemini Springs. People are frightened. They have families. They have to put food on the table. The mayor not supporting the project. Their goal is to um, kickstart development in the downtown district so I can. I kind of see what they're attempting to do, but I think this is the wrong way to do it. And just last week, FBI agents raiding City Hall and collecting emails from the city manager and other council members, excluding the mayor regarding the land deal. Also last week, Mayor Johnson asking for a temporary injunction to postpone tonight's meeting after being accused of violating city charter by giving orders to council members. And I just hope it works out the best for everybody. In DeBerry, Lauren Korn, News 6. Now, Mayor's Johnson, Mayor Johnson's attorney says this very meeting violates the council's own charter. He says according to those rules, council members are supposed to hold one meeting to determine if the mayor violated the charter and another to decide if he should be removed from office. Instead, they're doing both in one meeting tonight.